Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Evolver FX. In this video we are going to go through how the chord pad and the latest functionality chord chain work. So first of all, let's click uh, and load a previous performance, an existing performance, a, which I called test, which I used in other videos. Perfect. Let's minimize the keyboard as I'm not going to use it for uh, this video. So we have more screen space. Let's scroll down to this section, which um, uh, we started to look in other videos. So let's click on the performance. Now, in previous video, I talked about lane variation. This time we're going to approach the chord pad functionality. Uh, as you can see here, we have a number of pad. So 14, um, sorry, 12 pads. Some of the pads have been already assigned a code, so the first one is C minus. So if I click on it and hold, it will use the lane active here and also the variation active here to play a chord C minor. Okay, I can also enable the latch functionality, and when I click on the code, it will stay sustained. And if I click another code, it will move to the code only after, well, based on the sync to bit which is selected here so for example if I want to move uh, every four bits synchronized to every four bits I will select here four bits so let's try so as you can see it, it was moving based on where it was on the bit and only after four bits it will move to um, to the next chord I can assign a new chord to the pad. It's very easy. You click on assign, you play a chord, and you, you hold that chord on the keyboard or your external MIDI controller, and you select the pad where you want to record that particular chord. And you can set also a chord to send the MIDI out um, events if you want to record those, for example, in a host like AUM or Cubasis, etc. You have a sandwich menu here. Um, so you click on it, and here's where you can generate a chord set. So for example, let's say I want to generate uh, a set of chords based on root C, and using the scale minor. As you can see, it has created uh, chromatically a set of chords and based on a C minor scales, root C. So C minor, D minor, D sharp, etc, etc. So <coughs> this is how the chord pad functionality works. Now, you, as I mentioned earlier on, there is a new functionality in Evolver FX that this application continues to evolve and getting better and better. It is like a sequencer where you can you have 16 steps. Each step can contain a chord and you can chain them together so they can be played in a sequence. You have a no sync button and also a panic button, which is always useful. You can reset the step, which is highlighted here with a red uh, horizontal line to go back to the step number one you can play um, your sequence you can set it to play as a loop here you have uh, four different uh, sections below the first one is related to adding code so add the specific code insert one replace an existing one or insert a step with no code empty if you want to create for example a pose a moment of silence you can delete a code clear uh, a step with the chord which is contained or clear all the steps you can change the length or duration um, uh, the play duration for a particular step and of course you can select a number of chords cut them copy and paste them okay let's see how it works so before we start adding code it's important to know that when you click add to add a chord the chord that will be shown here will be exactly the chord that you have here uh, created in your chord part section. Additionally, it will insert chords um, um, with the selective um, selected line uh, lane sorry um, enabled and also with the selective variation. So to, uh, to give you a better example, let's disable three lanes and, and let's leave only active uh, lane A. And variation one so we we are on step number one we click um, add and a C minor chord here it shows C minor chord times four in terms of duration line lane a active variation number one so let's activate lane B 
and let's click the same uh, add the same chord and you'll see that he's bringing in also lane b do the same with lane c and lane d so essentially now we have four chords on the first step there is only lane active a then on the second one we activate lane b then on the third one lane c and on the fourth one lane d so it's like creating a starting of a song so let's click uh, back at the beginning as you can see red line click play <laughs> Okay, I can select one particular chord and I can say empty that. Sorry, I can add an empty because I'm in the add section. So I added a space in terms of empty chord. I can delete that if I'm not particularly happy. Okay, I can say clear that selected chord like so. It will insert an empty or I can say clear them all like so. It's important also to note if I click on a step where there is nothing, it will ask me if I want to go to that event. And if I say OK, it will um, it will move me to that event on step number one. Nothing particularly happened. But if I was to add a cold like this and going on step number two and click OK, it will create an empty for that particular step after the first chord. OK, well, if you are instead on the first step, it will not you say in that step nothing will happen. So you can decide to insert a step like so. In that case, you inserted the step between uh, the two steps which were there before. You can decide to uh, replace the step with a different chord like so. And as I said, you can add an empty at the end. You can delete a particular step. You can uh, uh, go on a chord step, clear that, inserting an empty or clear everything which will ask you to confirm. So let's add those chords as we did before, activating the different lanes um, one by one, one for each step, so like so. Okay, let's say that on step number four, we want to keep hold that chord for longer. So let's um, click on the plus uh, button on the length and let's say we make that times 12. Okay, perfect. Then let's click and select. Um, uh, you have to use your finger actually instead of the mouse. So, so let's click and hold with your finger on C minor, the first step, and then move to the right to select the first four steps. Like, see, you see the, uh, they are lighted in blue. Let's click select copy. Let's go to step number five. It will ask me to go there, and therefore it will create an empty event. And let's click then paste. And then if I don't want uh, the empty uh, code, I go to step number nine and I select delete. So in this case, I copied exactly um, the first four codes um, and pasted them after. Okay. I can also select to play on a loop like so. Go back to the beginning and click play. <laughs> Let's uh, cut that selection like so. Let's insert, for example, a, uh, let's activate lanes A, B, and C. Let's uh, go through other chords like so. Let's go through all the chords through the chord set we previously created. And then let's add also an empty at the end. And let's ensure that the loop is played. Go back to the beginning, play. <laughs> As you can see, as the uh, chain is being played, you can see the chords also changing here in your chord part as well. Uh, before I leave you, as I mentioned earlier, you can use also different variation. So uh, you can say it goes to variation number two, and uh, let's add at the end of the chain a new chord, and you can see is there is a two under that, which stands for variation number two. Therefore, you can 
variate further um, your uh, your change using different variation okay i hope you enjoyed you found this useful i'm certainly um, excited to see this new functionality being added to evolve fx so it's absolutely great i'll see you next time bye